best value of the year. We like this category because we have fantastic variety in our finalists. Tell us about them. Yeah, so we've got three vehicles here that really kind of take different form factors. One is a very well-regarded compact sedan. The other is kind of an up-and-coming hybrid. And then we also have a very spacious and comfortable SUV. So we do have a lot of diversity and variety in this class. And what they all have in common is that they need to offer a good price, solid features and reasonable fuel economy so that people can save money without feeling like they're missing out on something great. Yeah, you don't want to feel like you're missing on anything even yeah. though the car's a good value. And small cars used to be penalty boxes and that's not the case anymore. You can really get a lot of cool features for not much money. So let's go see the differences between the three. Let's do it. If you haven't owned a Honda Civic yourself, you probably know somebody who has and that's for good reason. Brett, this is the new one. Tell us all about it. Yeah, so this Civic is a total departure from the previous generation. It's much more maturely styled and it's not nearly as aggressive and shouty. It doesn't have those fake grills and stuff like that. Um, and you know, for better or for worse, it is definitely a much cleaner and more handsome design. Park it from the three quarter angle. I think we wander into mundane territory, right? Yeah, yeah this kind of looks a little generic, particularly as bombastic as the old one was, but you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing. This is a mature design. That said, from the side, basically one clean body line from back to front. I think they used a lot of restraint in the yeah. design yeah. and it really shows, especially in this area. I think it looks really nice yeah. from some angles. Absolutely. And you can see a lot of mini Accord in it and that's not a bad thing either because the Accord is a very well regarded vehicle design. Yeah, wise. total mini Accord. Uh, carry over powertrains, but not such a bad thing because we like them to begin with. Right? Yeah, absolutely. This particular vehicle has a 1.5 liter turbo engine with a CVT transmission. It's got plenty of power. The CVT does a really good job of selecting the right engine speed for the task that you've got. And it doesn't really drone either, which is a wonderful thing for a CVT not to do. Best of all though, is all of those controls are packaged in a fantastic new interior. You've been in this vehicle several times. I've been in it a few times. It looks so good. This might be a Lincoln from the 60s for how stylish and fabulous <laughs> it is. We got into the nitty gritty because so many compact vehicles are not phoning it in with interiors anymore. And yeah. the last gen Civic had its troubles they made it better in the right places. Absolutely. I love that strip of honeycomb, the metal that goes across the dash. It's gorgeous. It looks like it could be uh, out of the Mad Men props office. It's so cool. I think there's still a couple of things we'd like to fix. The, the responsiveness of the infotainment, things like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, but overall, it's a nicely put together package. This is definitely a great vehicle. If you go to a Honda dealership expecting just a nice solid car to commute around in, you will not be disappointed by the Civic. So the Honda Civic competes against the Hyundai Elantra, but this is the Elantra Hybrid, which we rated even higher. Yeah, so the Hyundai Elantra Hybrid combines a 1.6 liter engine with a hybrid powertrain, obviously. That gives it only 139 horsepower, yeah. but 195 pound-feet of torque, which is a stellar number for this class of vehicle. You definitely miss out a little bit at the high end with the horsepower, but driving around town, all that torque makes it feel perfect. It's just wonderful getting off the line. Best value vehicle. Of course, it's been at the back of our heads as we've been evaluating this all week. This car as equipped, less than $30,000, yeah. 50 miles to the gallon, right? 50 miles to the gallon. And with this limited trim, you get heated seats, you get ventilated seats, you get Hyundai's fantastic infotainment system. You get highway driving assist, which really takes some of the edge off yeah, when you're on a long gorgeous. trip. It's a really well-designed interior for sure. And some of the materials are all right, but overall it's a very nice machine. Yeah, uh, the only thing we have left to go over is the exterior design. Yeah. <laughs> this is where we might split hairs, yep. but uh, we could say it's exuberant. Yes, I don't think you're in the minority. I think there are a lot of people who feel similarly to you that they did a little bit too much on this car and they could have showed a little bit more restraint as Honda did when they redesigned the Civic. Something in the middle would be perfect. If you could get something with a little bit more excitement in the design, but not by going quite so far as this. There are a lot of options in this class of vehicle and the yeah. Civic is definitely on the, the tamer end sure. of design. If you want something that sticks out in traffic, even in a more mute color like yeah. this, this is your car, right? There's just tons of curves. You never get tired of looking at it. Unfortunately, that might not be the best thing for someone who just wants to blend into traffic and not really stand out too much, but they did a great job just making it stand out at least. Elantra Hybrid, we love it. Yep. We have one more to go over. So, so last up, we have the effective replacement for the Volkswagen Golf in the US. This is all new, this is the Taos. The Volkswagen Taos is their new entry-level SUV. It slots in under the Tiguan, just like you said, it replaces the Golf hatchback in our market. 
Uh, it starts at just under $23,000 and it comes with a 1.5 liter turbo that makes more power and torque than the 1.4 that it replaces in the Golf. So for a crossover this size, great value to start. The one we have here is the SEL and yeah. it has a lot of options on it. So it does start to creep up in price, but you do get a lot for the money. Definitely, there's a ton of really great tech inside. Volkswagen digital cockpit is fantastic. And then the center infotainment screen is also really easy to get used to as well. Uh, details, it kind of lets you down a little bit. The materials That's aren't true. nearly as good as you'd expect from a Volkswagen of the past. But at the same time, it's so spacious. There's so much luggage space, so much rear seat passenger room, definitely a much more comfortable place to spend time than either the Civic or the Elantra, which could be of value to small families or people who occasionally need to haul their friends around. And we're all pretty big fans of the styling too, yeah. right? I mean, for a general vehicle of this shape and size, yeah. they added some fun to it. They really definitely kind of made it sharp and snappy. And then the driving experience of that 1.5 turbo, there is just enough torque to really get you around. But what's most fun is you can hear the turbo whistling and snapping yeah, yeah. and it's just so much fun to drive. This is a really surprisingly enjoyable vehicle. Yeah, I think it's one that kind of caught us all by surprise, but one that we're definitely glad is here, right? Definitely true. So let's pick a winner for the class. Yes, indeed. Here it is. Motor One's best value is the Hyundai Elantra Hybrid. You know what? For all this car offers and for the price that it offers, this one deserves to win. This was definitely a really hard fought decision that we made. You know, a lot of us, including the person standing next to me, <laughs> really don't care for the styling. Uh, but some of us love it. Some of us appreciate that they took a risk. Beyond any of that though, less than $30,000 as equipped and 50 miles per gallon. And you could still even get that fuel economy with a base model that starts at $23,000. Yeah, that, that, the fact that they were able to price the hybrid that low and give you all the same good stuff on the interior. This is an extremely well-rounded car, maybe looks aside, but for the most part, this is the perfect car for most people looking in this segment. Yep, if you just want something that's gonna get you from A to B, keep you comfortable and not cost you that much money, you really can't do a whole lot better than the Elantra Hybrid. Mm -hmm.